Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mark Questions and for No Stylus. And today what I'm doing is I'm looking at Byword. And this is especially for Mark Greentree. This is because he's been using pages for doing his writing. And really, I think it was the wrong tool for the job. It's far better to use a text editor and also to start learning Markdown. Because when you want to put stuff into another application, if you use pages, then you're going to find there's going to be some strange formatting going on. So... Let's have a look and see what we can do with ByWord now. Now for a start off, we've got an extra little bit of uh, keyboard on the top of the ordinary keyboard there. So for instance, at this point here, we want to make this into a header. So let's make that into a header one. I just tapped on the H button. Let's go to this one here, which we're going to make into a level two. And by the way, don't forget that you've also got these things on here so that you can move around in your text quite easily. So let's make this a level two header by tapping the H button twice. Now I prefer to put links in there using the reference method. And the reason for that is because it's just easier to read. So this first stage here, which we've got between look, and that is going to be the word which is going to be the link. And the reference link is going to be one. If I go down to the bottom of the file now, you can see that number one is the link to this on max 20 q And then here is number two, which is the link to nostylus.com. So that's nice and easy. What about if I want to put something in there that is going to be in bold text? So what I can do is I can select something. So let's do a bit of selection of GPG tools there, for instance, and slide that across and tap on that there once. And I'm going to have to select it again. Select, do that, and tap on it again. Now I've got two stars on either side of that, and that's going to turn that to bold. So we just the one star on there, so let's just do this word here and put that on there, and that's just going to be in italics. Now we can already start looking at this, see what it looks like in Markdown by going to this button at the top here, click on Preview Markdown, and you see this is what it's starting to look like. We've got our links in there. We've got GPG Tools in there, which is in bold. And if we look at the word internet, that is in italics. And we've got a level two there as well. Let's click on dismiss and go back to this again. Let's do some more stuff. Now, if you could do me a favor, I'd really appreciate it. Click on that share button and then choose from Twitter or Facebook or Google Plus and share it out there. The window will pop up. You can say something if you want to. And I'd really love it if you could do that. There are other places you can send to, such as Pinterest. And don't forget to click on the like button. So, okay, let's do this one here. Do some selecting. And I'm going to select up as far as more. And I want that to be a list. So let's go back over here again, tap on that button there. And we've got a list. How about that? It's really easy, isn't it? You can put pictures in with this as well. But, well, I don't like to do the pictures with this. I like to keep this just for text. And I think that is a good way of doing it. So let's just get rid of this out of the way for the moment and see what it looks like now that we've got a list in there as well. And tap on that preview markdown. And there you go. We've got our level one header. We've got a level two header. We've got a list in there. We've got some links. We've got some italics. And we've got some words in bold. And do you need much more than that when you're putting your text into something like Blogsy? Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to be working just on the iPad. So what we're going to do here is we're going to copy HTML. Then we're going to go into Blogsy. I've already got a new one here ready to start working in Blogsy. Tap on this down the bottom here. So we're on the side where we're actually just putting in the uh, HTML text. And we're going to do paste. Now let's move the keyboard out of the way. Let's just tap on this here to bring it back to the WYSIWYG editor. And you can see everything is ready to go there. And I can start doing things like putting in images, for instance. But there's more to it than that. Let's go to the Mac and open up ByWord. And I want to look at the iCloud documents in ByWord. And the one I want to look at is going to be called Learning Markdown. And so you can see that everything there that I was doing on the iPad, I've got available to me directly on the Mac as well. And I didn't have to do anything. I just saved it on the iPad and there it is available in iCloud and ready to use. So in the Mac app, you can do a preview of the Markdown to see what it looks like in HTML. In fact, we've got this thing on the bottom here where we can do the copy HTML, same as we did on the iPad. So I've just clicked on copy HTML. It's ready to go in the clipboard. I can press escape to dismiss out of that. So let's go over to my blogging platform on the Mac, which is Mars Edit, and click on new post for one of the blogs that I work with. There's a preview look. And as you can see, using ByWord on the Mac, using ByWord on the iPad, it opens a lot quicker and is a lot easier to use than Pages. Pages for me I think is more of a layout editor 
and it's less of a text editor. So that's my two pennies on it, Mark, and I really do hope that you can really get on with Byword and with using Markdown. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.